managing your business transactions. Without any configuration effort on your end, AppDynamics auto-discovers and organizes application traffic into business transactions. Activities within your application are aligned with the primary function of a web business. So when you see performance issues, you will know immediately which business functions are involved. In this video, we will take it a step further and configure your business transaction sets to optimize your monitoring settings. What do we mean by optimizing? We are going to modify the business transaction set so you only have the critical business transactions visible so that everyone can easily find the business transactions that are of interest to them. Here we are looking at the list of business transactions auto-discovered by AppDynamics. AppDynamics can track up to 200 business transactions per controller and 50 per agent. So you may have quite a few transactions when you start. They are all named using the default naming rule, which grabs the first two levels of the URI. At this stage, you probably have some low-impact business transactions that you do not really need to monitor or be alerted about. Moreover, the default names given by AppDynamics probably do not match the names you use internally. Let's take care of the first problem. We are going to trim down the default list to something more manageable. To identify the business critical set of transactions, meet with all of the stakeholders. Ask each team using AppDynamics what processes are important to them. The developer and operations team will probably give you a different set of critical business transactions than the network or DBA team. So, make sure to talk to all stakeholder groups. A best practice tip here is to make sure all the high frequency transactions are covered. Here is the list sorted by the call count. If no one mentioned one of the high frequency transactions, you may want to check with the teams to see if anyone is interested in the metrics of that transaction. Also, the business transactions at the bottom are invoked so infrequently, chances are they are not critical to your business. Trimming down this noise may make it easier for teams to pick out the business transactions they want to see. As each team lists their key business transactions, ask them to name those transactions. That way, we can rename the default names to something more meaningful. That way, there should be less miscommunication about the various business transactions. Once we collect the information we need from our stakeholders, we can start optimizing the list. Specifically, we're going to perform the following task. Change the auto-discovery setting. Rename transactions. Group multiple transactions. Remove non-critical transactions. And finally, custom create business transactions based on custom match rules. Let's take a look at each task from the top. Change the auto-discovery setting. By default, AppDynamics uses the first two levels of a transaction's URI to discover transactions. So while these will be recognized as different transactions, these will be considered the same transactions as a third level will be dropped. But what if you wanted to track them separately? Let's consider this scenario. The team in charge of the MZUI tier says they want to track all these transactions separately. This is easy to accommodate. Let me show you. We are in the instrumentation section under Configure. The team requesting this is in charge of the MZUI tier, so we select that. Check Use Custom Configuration for this tier, and you will see all the options. We are going to use the configuration name and option for Servlet. So, we just changed the default setting from 2 to 3 to make it use the first three levels of the URI. Now all these business transactions, report, rating, customer, rent, will be treated as separate business transactions. Now the MZUI team can easily see the metrics for each. Rename transactions. You want to make sure everyone knows what each business transaction does, so it might be helpful to rename the default transaction names assigned by AppDynamics. Renaming option is available under the More Actions button. Group multiple transactions. Let's say one of the teams is tracking the account update activities. Currently we have multiple business transactions for that such as admin customer transaction and admin account transaction. The request is to have the bundled metrics readily available while at the same time keeping the option to drill down and view metrics per individual business transaction if needed. Grouping transactions lets you do just that. Here we are looking at the business transaction list. First, highlight the ones that you want to bundle. Then go to More Actions and choose Create Group. Provide a name for the group 
In our case, we will call it account activities and save. From this point on, any new occurrence of the two transactions will be grouped as account activities and appear like this. When you drill down into the group, you can still see the metrics for the two business transactions separately. Removing transactions. There are lots of business transactions that none of the team are interested in monitoring. These can be removed from the list to avoid distraction. Simply highlight the business transaction you do not want and choose Exclude under More Actions. The transaction disappears and will not be tracked going forward. Notice that we also have the Delete option. But this just deletes the past records, but will not prevent App Dynamics from rediscovering this transaction. Delete is a convenient feature to refresh the list after you make changes. Set up custom rules to find transactions. You can create custom rules to pick up transactions that match the criteria. Here is an example use case. Earlier we expanded the discovery criteria to use three levels of a transaction's URI. In that case, it worked well as the team wanted to track all of those transactions separately. But what if you do not want to change the tier-wide discovery setting? Maybe you only want to go to the third level tier for just one transaction. Here is a scenario. Default mz-ui slash customer business transaction includes all these variations. Amongst those, you want to track the rate transaction separately while leaving the rest of the default setting. How do we do that? Setting up custom match rules makes this possible. Let's try one. We are now on the instrumentation page under Configure. Select the right tier, scroll down, and you will see the custom match rules section to set up a custom discovery rule. Click plus to add a new rule. Choose servlet and you will get this window. Name this transaction rate and set the priority to be one. The priority is a very important concept, so let me explain. As you already know, the default setting uses the first two levels of the transaction's URI. So the rate transaction would be included in the MZUI customer transaction. This default rule is priority zero. In order for our rate transaction to be independently discovered by AppDynamics, the custom discovery rule must have a higher priority than the default. The bigger the number is, the higher the priority. That is why we put one in the priority field. The rest is easy. Check URI and enter the correct URI information. Save the setting and now you will have the custom discovered transaction. Now you know how to perform all these tasks and by doing so you can optimize your monitoring settings. Thanks for watching.